Hello everyone, in this video you are going to learn how to use dynamic select tasks in a UI path. So first I will create a normal workflow for addition of two numbers using calculator application. So click on this plus icon and search for open application activity. And before clicking on this indicate window on screen you need to open a calculator application. Now click on this uh, indicate window on screen and uh, select this uh, calculator. So this activity will just open the calculator. So click on this plus icon and search for uh, click activity and uh, drag and drop this into designer panel. Let me copy this activity and I will uh, paste it for four times because I'm going to use this click activity for four times. So to click on the elements in uh, calculator. So for the first activity, uh, click activity, click on uh, indicate element inside window and I am going to add uh, two numbers. Let me select uh, 7 and uh, click on this uh, second click activity, indicate element inside window, select plus, 7 plus and for the third click activity, indicate element inside window. I am going to add 7 plus 8 so I will choose a 8. Then at last I will click on equals to button to get the result so click on equals to so, this will give the result after adding uh, two numbers 8 plus 7 this will give the result uh, 15 so we need to get that results using um, get OCR text activity so drag and drop it into our uh, workflow so let me open calculator so I am going to enter 8 plus 7 manually then I will click on equals to. So now we need to indicate this element to get the result from here in the calculator. So click on indicate element inside window then click on the element. So finally I want to display the output click on this plus and search for a long info. We log message okay and uh, we need to create an output variable in the get OCR text activity to store the result so I will use shortcut control K and I will name this uh, variable as a re string result okay so go to variables pen string result variable type is string and the scope is uh, let me select sequence so I will just give the variable name uh, string result in this uh, message field. Let me run this. So this will adding uh, 7 plus 8 that is equals to 15 and uh, which is displaying in the output and uh, dynamic selector execution is ended. So and now I want to add this uh, two numbers dynamically using input dialog activity. So click on this plus icon I will search for input dialog activity. Let me copy this and I will paste it. So click on the first input dialog activity and uh, in the dialog title with a double quotation I will just name this as first number and uh, input label in the input label within double quotation I'll just type enter the first number this is going to prompt me to enter the first number so in the value entered field I will create a variable this is going to store the user given input okay so let me name this as a first number that's fine and uh, second input dialog activity in the dialog title within double quotations i will uh, type second number in the input label field within double quotation enter the second number this is going to prompt me to enter the second number the value entered field let me create a variable and um, I will name this as second number 
okay go to variable spinner so let me change its uh, scope to sequence and its variable type is string click on this uh, first click activity and i will rename this uh, activity click first number so this is just an uh, activity name and i will also rename this uh, activity as uh, this is second number because this is going to click the second number and uh, in this go get ocr text activity i will name it as result so go to the first click activity where we are clicking the first number and uh, click on uh, plus at the selector and open in advanced editor so here you can see the syntax so i am going to change this uh, text and uh, I'll delete the text and i will put asterisk and in the automation id i am going to delete this 7 and uh, within double quotation so inside double quotations i will use uh, plus and uh, I am going to pass the variable name of first number. Okay. Then click on OK. So similarly for the second number, because we are this going to take the input dynamically. So click on the plus and open in advanced editor. Drag it to last. Here you can see the eight. So this is what we have selected before manually for uh, clicking 8. So let me delete this and uh, instead of that I will just use asterisk. So in the automation ID you should uh, of this 8 within double quotation and uh, within plus I will pass the variable name second number. So this is going to take the second number dynamically from the user input. Then click OK. So at last in the get result, so at the selector click on this plus and open in advanced editor. So let me remove this 15 and I will use uh, asterisk. Then click on OK. And uh, at last I will use uh, close application activity. So indicate element inside window. Then indicate the close button. So let me run this uh, automation. So I will give the first input as a 4. And uh, the second input is 6. So this is adding 4 plus uh, 6 and clicking on equals to. Then it is giving the result 10. So this is how to use uh, dynamic selector activity in uh, AI path. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and like this video.